going on guys welcome back to another video so today we have the rank 5 ascended medusa gameplay so yeah she did actually win the poll against uh you know dark hawks uh miles and also mordo by actually quite a bit and yeah today we're going to showcase her as a rank 5 ascended with uh without recoil first and then we're also going to try her with recoil and some synergies because she has a, like a really powerful synergy which is with black bolt where she can get like six furies and yeah just look how fast she's taking down like 200k health without even boost or anything this is literally like one fury rotation and like a special one armor shatter like that was that's pretty fast and this is not like the bg healthfuls now but yeah man it, it's it's close to that though and this is 670,000. so i'm going to showcase this fight with two different rotations the first rotation here is going to be sp1 to armor shatter the opponent and also sp2 just before my armor shatter uh falls off so we can deal those nice bleeds and basically we're just just going to do this rotation twice and then the second fight is going to be doing two special threes which is basically for like longer fights because that allows you to like keep the armor shatter up i have 100 percent uptime on the armor shatter which means your bleeds are going to take uh for the whole fight and as you can see, 100, 100 per bleed, which is, isn't too much. But if you stack like 20 of them, that's pretty good. So now I just want to throw my special one when I get my third fury right there. And that was decent damage. Like, we, we take down high, half his health with one SP1 and one special 2. That was pretty fast. Now we're just going to build up to another special one. It's an easy way to armor shatter. She also has a nice... Uh, I don't know with who the synergy is with. I, th I think it's with Karnak, where... I think when you heavy, you place an indefinite arm break, and then you can you can apply four of those, and then you just do a double medium to like armor shatter the opponent very very easy way, and uh, yeah you're gonna see some cool stuff with that rotation. So now we're gonna go for the special two, and that's almost gonna do it. There we go, last ten percent of his health, and then the armor shatter just gives us a lot of damage after, and it's enough. So this fight actually you know not that bad, almost like 700k health pool. I think like two minutes. See, oh no, not even two minutes, a minute and 20 seconds. Like, that's not bad, <laughs> honestly. Medusa is kind of good. And here we're just gonna do the same thing, and we're just gonna build up to the special three. And the special three gives us a longer uh, armor shatter. I'm not even gonna skip the special three animation here because I want you to see like the exact time. But you are gonna see that this fight is gonna last a little bit longer because this is, this is the rotation for like much, much. Uh, no larger health pools and then we're just dealing a bunch of damage after this look at that like i, I want to wait for a medium to crit Sixteen thousand. that's pretty good man you can deal this damage in bgs just armor shot of the opponent a lot of damage i'm not going to showcase any uh you know robots with medusa because there's no one that i can really showcase her damage there's no one that can last too long but dude medusa is like great for robots like she's probably one of the best warlock counters because you just shot on the opponents you, you know very count good counter for vision those power gains yeah i think she's gonna be really good if she becomes a seven star look at that damage 42,000, and then we're gonna go for a medium twenty thousand because of two armor shatters dang and twenty two thousand there but uh yeah dude if, if we could get a seven star medusa the thing with Medusa is like you only need one, one dupe. You don't need the six at all. And then she's, she's really good on attack and defense actually. So this is a minute and 42. As you can see, it did last a little bit longer because the two SP3 animations, but not bad still. And then this is the, the, the first fight again with 200k health, but this is going to be with like recalls. And you're going to see the big difference. She actually is quite suicide friendly because she's immune to poison. But I was saying that she's no, she, she's gonna be a really good seven star because you need one dupe. Because even if you, you know, even if you put her on defense, you know, people will know that she's like sick twenty. But no one is going to risk hitting into her three furies to get auto blocked because her auto block like triggers parry, and no one is gonna risk doing that because like you know it might be a twenty percent chance, but no one is gonna do that. So. If you can't do anything about the, the Furies, if you're not a Mystic to stagger or like nullify them, you're either gonna have to wait or you have to like parry heavy, which slows down a lot of opponents. So I think she'll be a really, really good 7 star for sure. 
Maybe especially with like the Pierce uh, stat focus on defense. Where if you need to parry a lot, just wait at the living strands. Yeah, it's pretty good. So this is the 700k health pool. We're gonna showcase her with uh, two set there. And that's another good thing. My, my best, my, my favorite thing about our attackers, some attackers, is that if you make a mistake, they can help you. Like that's why I love Abdon. If you take a hit, no matter if the opponent has energy hits or like physical hits, you take no damage because if you, if you switch the forms, you take no damage. And here Medusa can actually auto block for you. Especially at 200, it's like 100% chance. So yeah, this is the same fight. As you can see, we're hitting a little bit harder for sure with recalls on. But it's not that, much, that big of a deal in this fight. But in the longer fights, you will see. And then after this fight, we're also going to have some synergies. So yeah, this guy definitely died a lot faster. There we go. That probably was like a minute, I would say. Let's see. Yeah, a minute and nine seconds. Now this is going to be Red Hulk. And here we do have synergies. We do not have boost. We're going to have boost on the next fight, the last fight. Uh, so this is going to be her synergies. She has that really, really good synergy with the heavy attack. You can see the uh, indefinite armor break. And dude, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. Because you can do four of them, and then the medium, medium armor shatter which is what we're gonna do now am i gonna trigger it right now i think i will no i'm not i think i think i'm waiting to get closer to my special three so that i can have some you know i can have the two armor shatter damage for a little bit longer because the special three armor shatter lasts longer than the one you, you can inflict with your basic attacks you will see that this one is gonna fall off a lot faster than the special threes one but we're still gonna have a lot of damage a lot of time to deal good damage from uh, the two armor shatters so yeah one thing i want to mention is that i think medusa is going to be amazing for robots because they gain no power and if the opponent has no power you can be super aggressive and if the opponent has power they can be a little bit stingy with their special sometimes and you might not have time to like keep your armor shatter from the special three until you get to another special three to like basically not refresh it but like have 100 uptime so you will see it's gonna be like close even though this red hulk is being kind of nice to me but look at this man this is like one sp3 rotation this guy's he's 50 done like what it's pretty good damage man there we go two armor shadows keep those bleeds up now here he's being a bit stingy i think I don't know if I'm gonna go for another special three. I think at this point I'm gonna go for a special two because there's just no time <laughs> to get to my special three, I feel like. Unless I do something crazy, I don't really remember that. And also I forgot to mention that now we got six furies, which is double the uh, safety. If you get hit, you can just auto block that. Yeah, he's probably gonna, yeah. I think I'm gonna go for a special two. I got the six furies as well. Let's see how much damage it does. It did like, 5% and then the bleeds afterwards did another 5% <laughs> Now the armor shatter fell off, but we're gonna go for some heavy attacks Get those indefinite armor breaks. That's some really good synergies, man. Really, really good synergies And I think this red hulk has like 1.5 million And it didn't take too long, honestly And then one more special two is gonna do it. Of course you have to evade there, of course <laughs> There it is. Let's see how, how, how fast that was Probably like two minutes. Yeah, two minutes and 26. Now this is going to be 3.3 million health. But here we're going to have class advantage. We also have like a wide magneto synergy. I think I had that on Rat Hulk as well. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, the, the, you're going to see some numbers here, man. You're going to see some numbers. So we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to heavy. And then we're going to do our double mediums when we're close to the special three <laughs> look at okay Th this this is gonna be with max boost as well so we basically have 50 percent more attack and we got recalls on so yeah you're, you're gonna see some good stuff right here trying to bait the special one here because yeah I, I guess just yeah <laughs> they, they didn't want to throw it Twenty-seven thousand with like not even a single armor shatter up i go for the light attack into a heavy oh man she has a really good chance to crit, man. Like, that's that's pretty good. Might be the synergies, though. I want to see what... Uh, 
we just quickly see from Aunt May what her chance to crit is. It's probably quite high. 26% chance, yeah, that's pretty pretty high. And look at this damage now with the double Arpa Shatter. Of course, special 3 for 50k, but like, let's see a basic attack. 30,000 crit, 47, almost hit the cap, man. Dang, dude, that's... That's pretty good. And I really want to get to my other special 3 now. 49,000 with the 6 Furies and 2 Armor Shatters. That's great. And yeah, it seems like we're going to have time to uh, get to the armor, other Armor Shatter again. Yeah, we're definitely going to. There we go. I want to stun him so I can have an easy opening to start building up my power for the next special 3. So yeah, I, I just like how simple Medusa is. And she actually has like really good damage to offer. And uh, a potential annoying defender. I know the Mystic are you know, it's easy to counter her. So super easy. But like, think of it. Like, what if you don't have a Mystic to counter it? You're just gonna have to wait and just deal no damage, basically. Uh, so there, the auto block saved us. And it can actually work in your favor sometimes. If you want to, like, let's say, time your special 2 with, like, 3 or 6 Furies. You can, like, intentionally get hit so that it consumes your Furies. Then you can start building them up again and have a higher uptime on your Furies. But this is gonna be the last special 3. It's only, like, 3 special 3s for 3.3 million a lot of damage and as you can see the bleeds we got 22 right there they are taken i think each like for 200 they're doing something for sure some nice combos like i said she just crits quite often and then this specialty is just gonna annihilate him man five we're gonna have six furies and the armor shatter look at that destroyed he had seven percent when i threw this and the bleeds didn't even tick all the way don't even have deep wounds on so yeah this this was a 3.3 million in less than three minutes so i think medusa could be a really good seven star because you know there's always gonna be new robots in the game i am sure uh and she can still counter some of the most annoying ones like nimrod warlock is still really relevant pgs nimrod not really but like guillotine 29 is a seven star visions could be a problem sometime if they if they get her introduced as a seven stars a uh, seven stars uh, but yeah, Medusa, I feel like she could be a really good 7-star, especially because she needs, like, one dupe. It's kind of like Hyperion. You need to dupe her once so that she's good. Because Unduped is, like, pretty bad. You get no Furies, and she doesn't really have too much damage. But yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this Medusa video. And if you did, please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.